Hello again, welcome back to another daily buying advisor repentance. We just finished the daily for May 12th. That's actually a really good daily. I was getting a little skeptical about like blue baby, but we persevered. Okay, so now we're going to do another Eden run. Last one was a little spicy. Seat here is NVNJ47LH. We got. Well, that's a not a that's not a bad trinket there. I kind of like that trinket. It's going to give us extra black heart drops. Your chances for black heart drops, and we're going to need that. We got charm. I think it's Charm of the Vampire, which gives us a little bit of a damage boost. So that's that's helping us to get a little bit more than usual. Tears rate's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Oh my goodness. Anyways, last episode I was talking about like films, uh, the new Master Chief episode and stuff like that. Um, talking about the Langoliers. We'll probably finished up that run. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's shot speed and range, so why not? Oh, God. I'm not the I'm not the greatest with these kind of runs, you know, where it's like... Put under pressure. Looking down on me. Looking down on you. I think that's the lyrics. Under pressure. Blackheart. Telling you, that trinket, it, it, it helps a lot. Uh, now, black candle, I would not oppose to that. And a black candle, red candle. So I'll take that and then I'm gonna try to gamble this. All right. So yeah, I was talking about the Langoliers. And I, I got the film a couple weeks ago on DVD. No, not on VHS. On DVD. Which I don't really buy DVDs often or anything, but like, cause like streaming and everything. But I think the Langa layers, there aren't that many streaming options. It'd be nice to just have where I could just play the movie and not have to worry about an internet connection or, or God forbid I watch it on YouTube and be like, oh, we got a bunch of ads for you to watch before you finish the movie and whatever. Which I, if I ever get my raspberry pie up and running, oh boy. No more of that on Xbox. I don't have to worry about a computer or my phone because I have ways to circumvent that. Um, man, like, like ads are so persuasive in those platforms. But anyways, um, yeah, the Langoliers, Stephen King book adapted to a movie i've seen quite a few of stephen king uh movies i tried reading one book in high school called uh the the dark tower dark half something like that it was the dark half ironically i didn't finish reading that book i was like halfway done with it pretty ironic i know but um yeah, so that was my only kind of experience I had with rating Stephen King. So I've heard about stuff. I mean, I've seen some stuff about like, you know, what the films would have been like if they've put the stuff in there for canon for like um, different scenes from the book to the movies. Like the whole misery thing, for example. When they had, um, let's see, Paul, what was the, the guy, the character's name in there? Paul, Paul Sheldon, that's right. Paul Sheldon. I read every one of your books. I'm your biggest fan. Anyways, um, the scene where, this is probably going to be spoilers if you have never seen Misery. Um... 
when he was nurse or when the uh what's her name i can't remember her name but it's just large lady where the actor did a really good job with portraying this uh this character um was like nursing him back to health and then decided to hit her hit his legs with some uh with some <laughs> some brute, uh, brute force trauma by uh, hitting his knee, his, uh, I think his knees or shins in. It's like about like, you know what they used to do to the miners when they're trying to escape? They would break their legs and their ankles or whatever that she said. I'm like, oh God. And um, so you have that kind of going on. And, you know, breaks his legs. But in, in the book, evidently, instead of breaking his legs, they actually she actually sawed off her leg, his legs or something, or ankles or something like that. So you got, you got those kind of weird, dark things going on. And... And then I was talking about last episode about the whole like it movie, like remake and Stephen King from what I can recall, wanted a, uh, a scene where the children were stripping in the cave just before they're gonna go fight the battle of, uh, I think it was either before or after the battle of Pennywise. I'm like, and there's like, I, I think there were other scenes too he wanted to, that's similar like that. I'm like, man, like, no, don't do that, please. <laughs> don't want this, please. I get it, it's your work and stuff like that, but don't, I mean, I think it's in the books. I think. Of course I wasn't gonna add that in there, jeez, man. And uh, I know there's some stories about him being a little warped and stuff with things. Just weird things. But the some of the movie adaptations are pretty good. You know, book to movie. Like, I seen Carrie. I think it was Carrie. I mean, that wasn't too bad. You get the line of layers like I talked about before. And then... Misery is another one. And then you got It... You know, 1990 and 2000 and whatever team um, remake. So you got these different. You got these different films, and then uh, Children of the Corn was another one. Like another, some good ones here. I'm kind of listing off. Um, I mean, the Lang of Layers is okay. And then I think the Lawnmower Man was another one of those. And that one was weird. I guess when I was a kid, from what I was told, I used to like, like that movie a lot. And then I went back and watched it as an adult. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is, this is not something a kid should be watching back then. But, um, yeah, like... Trying to remember other films. I I watched one that was like some farmer one. It was like it had like episodes to it, and it was like a few years ago. Eh, it wasn't that interesting. It was whatever. Then what else? Like, I think that might be it. There could have been more that I, I can't recall. I probably have seen and I don't remember. It was a Stephen King film. Oh yeah, um, another one. Duh, another a classic. Um, 
Oh, what is it called? It's when they go up in this lodge. On this mountain. Why am I blanking on the name? As Jack Nicholson in it. What was that? Because they made a sequel called Doctor Sleep. And that was a sequel to the other film. The Shining. That's what it was. I had to think, like, it's like, think, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. And then I was like thinking, oh, you just used your shining or something like that. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's right, the shining. <laughs> I had to like think of the scenes or something. Yeah, the shining. And the sequel wasn't too bad. Like some of them were, some of the scenes were just kind of questionable and stuff, but I mean, it was decent for a sequel. I get, I get the whole idea of like passing the torch to a younger, you know, generation thing. That's a very common thing to do with films, like with uh, with the Creed movies, passing the torch on to someone else for the fight. Which, I don't even know when the next Rocky movie comes out, because there's supposed to be one more. And I know that this COVID stuff kind of slows things down, but... It's supposed to be, like, one more. And it's supposed to take place in some country... Oh, the rumor is. It's supposed to take place in some country. He's training a foreigner. Um the fight. I don't know why he's going overseas. That's interesting. Let's see how that goes. If it, if it does come to fruition. But, um... And then Creed 3, there's supposedly a rumor which it probably makes sense that it would happen, is that uh, Rocky would die. That's the rumor. Which I could see that happening because it... There was some health issues he was having. He was moving in with his son at the end of... Oh, I'm going to spoil this again. <laughs> Sorry. Well, spoilers. He's going to move in with um, uh, his son. Which is probably going to live part of his days there, and then he'll pass away. I'm willing to bet. If, if the script is true about the whole gravestone thing. Because he does have health issues in the film. All right, uh, we're gonna try this. Tears down. Oh, that's nasty. That was a nasty surprise. So, I mean, passing the torch thing is kind of sad too at the same time where it's like, man, yeah, I get it. You're old as an actor, and you got to pass it on to some obscure person who has, like, absolutely nothing. Nothing that's going to be, like, redeem, you know, redeeming for them to, to take over and stuff. I think you're better off just honestly just kind of ending it completely. Not this whole, like, this generic... Um, well, I mean, Creed, I could see... It working because box you know the whole boxer thing right but then when you're overdo it where it's like you know you get, like the new Jurassic Park movie coming out they're bringing back some of the old cast from the first movie and stuff and this is the last film so like you know why pass the torch on these new people you know continue to pass the torch for this last thing like come on now I get it, the nostalgia and stuff, but like, I don't know. I don't really care so much for the new Jurassic Park movies. Like, I've seen 
a couple of them. Eh. I think it's just too much CGI and just a bunch of unrealistic stuff going on. Yeah, I know, like, the dinosaurs are unrealistic, duh. But, like, I mean, like, much more stuff going on. Like, the volcanic eruption, crashing in this water with their little scooter mobile thing. Somehow not crushing themselves from the waters on this very high cliff or being incinerated by lava. Just a bunch of things. Um, I get that. Suspend disbelief, man. I mean, I guess you could argue that Harry Potter did something like that, right? Passing the torch on to go to Hogwarts with this kid, but that's just more of a lines of, like, just heritage thing, you know, where it's like, you know, hey, you know, you're going to go to Hogwarts, you know, and Dumbledore's brave and everything. Da, da, da. I get it. And then that was supposed to be like the end of the story completely until J.K. Rowling's like, I made the cursed child, <laughs> which I haven't read yet. It's a play, I know, but like, I'm like, are you just done? I get the Pottermore stuff and everything, but uh, everything else and adding little tidbits about this and that to make it relevant for today's standards were just kind of weird too. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but because when you pass the torch on, like, yeah, I know it's symbolic. Duh. Oh, I had an emperor card. I thought I had a uh, a sun card. Okay. Never mind. Oh, right. It's not get hit anymore. Oh, I got the. Oh my god, get this. Oh my god. I am sucking right now. Why? Oh, that almost got me. All right. While we lived, that's what mattered. And it's Krampus. That was all kinds of fun here, huh? We got a black card here for later. We stay alive. What are you hitting? <laughs> That's like being blocked. Grab this, get his telly. All right. Um. Yeah, so, I don't know, passing the torch thing and all that. It's, it's been overdone so much, many times. And remakes and films. And remakes of those remakes. Oh, God. Stepped on that. I think it's just the sense of just Hollywood running out of ideas. It's generic stuff. Oh, you like love stories? No. Okay. Deal with it. <laughs> hey, nine inch nails. Eight inch nails. Nine inch nails on my eyelids. Or whatever the lyric was from Eminem. <laughs> Hey, you want to stick some inch nails in your eyelids, kid, or something? I don't know. Something like that. How oh, films, TV, and stuff. I still need, to, still need to get around to, like, finish off Breaking Bad. Like, not Breaking Bad. I've seen all the episodes long ago in the Camaro movie. Whenever, whenever that's going to come out on DVD. <sighs> that's still on Netflix. Maybe Netflix would just... sell off the company to someone else and then it'll just... be made in the disc. I'm predicting maybe Viacom would buy them. When it gets cheap enough? That's my hunch. They compete against Disney platform. Because, yeah, they have Paramount Plus and P 
Peacock and I think Pe is in Peacock owned by I think Peacock is owned by Viacom too. It's like they got their own individual platforms. I don't know how advantageous that is. It's like, oh yeah, you can get this thing. I oh, yeah, can get that thing and stuff. It's all split up. They got so much stuff, it makes my head spin. <laughs> no, I used to be like that, man. Full card, huh? That's my prediction. The Viacom would just buy Hulu when it's just low enough to compete against Disney. Now, Viacom is, that'd be a kind of a risky investment with Viacom, yeah, but if they get it low enough and have some kind of a negotiation deal, like, I mean, they'll own some rights to some films and shows like now I think about it maybe some of that Netflix stuff sucks the whole cuties thing was uh I'm not gonna get into that but that was like just screwed up beyond human imagination um and the whole bird box thing but that was just a meme and nobody talks about it anymore and I never seen it so and then the whole squid game thing which I don't know <clears throat> the only thing that would be worth the value is like the whole thing with Stranger Things. But that's just like one show that was like one of the most popular ones on Netflix. You know, Netflix original created stuff. I guess Trailer Park Boys was on there, but it's been kind of going down in quality and I think it's gone on a hiatus right now because of... Uh, one of the major actors passed away and stuff, and so, and it, you know, more and more people have been leaving too on top of that, so. They're gonna have to find a way to wrap it up. It's what happens when you kind of stretch out a season, you know, it's the season of show for too long, it just like, it has no soul. We'll just take that there. Of course, I haven't been watching TV either, so that's whatever. Someone was recommending me a show called Empire. Like, you heard the show Empire? It's like. Uh, kinda. Like, the only time I've I've, I've known of the show Empire is because of random, random obscure commercials of it. It was on like FX or whatever it was channel was called. That's it. Like, I don't know anything of it. Someone was recommending me that. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't. Thanks for the offer, but I'll uh, I'll be fine. I said, oh, actually, I said I, I kind of consider it, but like I don't know. Probably not. It's just like another like mafia ripoff show or something, something like that, or some. Oh no! Maybe be good, but I don't know. What did I know, man? I could use this for the fight. Ha! <laughs> well, that's interesting. Never seen that before. Random shopkeeper, huh? Ah, after like over a thousand hours on Isaac, I never seen a random shopkeeper with a random item in some obscure part of the map. 
that isn't the uh, the shop. I am truly been blessed today. I've been kind of blessed here with these runs. So far. So far. I'm probably going to get into Isaac Hart or something quirky. Something cursed. Or maybe it'll happen on this run. Maybe something will happen where I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go and reroll and then I get Isaac's Hart again. You know, anything can happen here. We're getting a lot of, like, champion bosses, that's for sure. Nothing. All right. Well, you know what? I didn't want that anyways. Didn't want anything you got for me. Anyways, enough about, like, movie commentary stuff. I guess. You know how I feel about movies and television shows, I I assume, at this point, maybe? If you... Well, it's... I guess it's over 700 episodes. That's a lot of watching. Me talking here and there about it. I guess maybe you won't catch it. Maybe, if you're watching this. Just so I'm going to be seeing this episode. Like, oh, what is he talking about? We'll get starter deck here. Make our pills even better by making them cards. Emperor. Okay. Not too bad. Ah, uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay, I did that to myself. I've been pretty lucky not finding any greens. I, I think. I think I didn't find any greens on this run. Either this run or it was last run. I found a greed. One of those runs. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just gaslighting myself. Did I really see that? Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Just in that, just a few seconds ago, you saw the greed in the shop. <laughs> Someone's playing Mordha. It's Morda. Like a new type of game. Never heard of that one. I'm not keeping up with gaming trends either. Supposedly, there's going to be a reveal pretty soon of uh, the reboot of Modern Warfare 2. Whatever. I mean, I hadn't played a COD, a COD game since Advanced Warfare, but that was only very little I played of it. Um, that was it. Like, well, actually, no, no, no. Scratch that. That's not true. I, I tried doing the Call of Duty uh, Battle Royale game for a bit. That's right. Like this year. And, I'm, and I quickly just grew out of it because I was tired of it. Uh, <laughs> That was my last experience. Okay. Yeah. So that's my recent, most recent experience. But before that was definitely uh, Advanced Warfare. And then before that was probably Modern Warfare 3. And then before that was um, Black Ops, for sure. And then before Black Ops, probably would have been Modern Warfare 2. I also had the Vietnam one. Another uh, Vietnam one. The um, World War II one, because of the whole Nazi zombie thing. So I was doing mostly the Nazi zombies and not so much of the uh, other parts of the game. So... This room's just absolutely terrible. All right. I 
Like, if we had a terrible tears right in that room, like, that would have went really badly. Okay. No, I do not want that. Just kind of exploring here, trying to just milk this as much as I can. So I don't die so easily. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right. All right. Not missing much there. This is a big floor. A nasty one, too, at that. If I can get, like, Mom's knife or even, like... Brimstone would be pretty cool. Pretty sick. That's gonna be helpful. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I'm about to say, like, oh, I'm not gonna get hit there. I got hit. Alright, let's go for it, I guess. Isaac! Regular mom, okay. So I guess blue mom. Evidently, she stomps less. I didn't know that. Someone pointed out and I watched it. I'm like, oh, you know what? I guess that's the case. Red Mom is probably what I want the most. A balance of like more stomping with no enemies. But I have to keep on my toes. All right. Don't lose on this deal. For God's sake. Just spawn, please. Okay. We'll take the Polaroid. Absolutely, I'm taking that. A guppy's tail. Um, I guess here. That's hell of risky, but... Maybe we can finagle a, uh, a guppy dream. Oh, the pony, man. I despise fighting the pony in this kind of room. When you have no flight, I despise it ever so greatly. All right. Pink of Satan's head. My joke to you. All right, give me something good. Uh, keys, I guess. All right, actually, you know what? Let's just actually head down. Let's not play the, t you know, play fate here. Maybe I should take the horse, but whatever. All right. April card helps so much. Skipping all that f that entire floor of craziness. I don't know what, like, games are coming out this summer. Or where they're going to showcase. Because they don't have E3 this year. I mean, you don't, you don't have to have E3 to announce games and show them off, of course. That's entirely true. He's done Judgment. it. Oh, you little shit. All right, well, thanks, but no thanks, you jerk. I spawned you so you can, like, get me something good. And it, and it begins to keep apocalypse. Maybe. We got plenty of keys to work with here for a bit. A luck upgrade with a range. Eh. I mean, I guess it's some stats. Range. Yay. Not yay. I got a range, range upgrade la uh, earlier in the run. The whole my reflection thing. Oh, heart. That'd give me like two 
hollow hearts per floor, right? I think, because it's a golden thing. I think. Because it's supposed to give you one per floor, but if it's golden, it's probably going to be two. But is it worth giving up to get... Worth giving this black heart thing up for that thing. I don't know. The black hearts are pretty useful, and we're getting, like, a balance. Fallen hearts could be useful. I need, like, a, I need like a... Well, I can't have a gulp pill anymore. That's right, because I, uh... Screw that up. I'm going to have to think about it here. I'm not taking that. Ah, we made a bridge out of poop. Now, give me some help. All right. Every little bit helps here. I think I'm just going to keep with this uh, demon's tail. And we found our boss. Lucky us. Stay my distance, because these guys are just going to just go all out on me. All right. All right, we got the mom fight. We could just probably pop this and kill a couple of these guys. That helped a little bit. So, yeah, games, games, games. Gamers. Oh, yeah, and that's a bunch of Switch games at this point. Hey, we got another Pokemon game coming out, or DLC to something. Thank you, in Infamy. It's having a little bit of doubts about you, but you know why? You 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 came into clutch and you you protected me from that shot, so I appreciate it. I don't give you that much credit though, but you know, when you're there to help me occasionally, you're great. You don't help me the times I need, you suck. Oh my goodness, really? All right, well, that was a waste of, you know, health to, to and go for the guppy dream or whatever. Expecting something better. Chris the Unknown, don't know what my health is. All right, cool. All right, you little jerk. We're heading into dangerous territories. You see, that's that's what I mean with the black heart thing. It's like, you get the black hearts and it's like, yeah, it's temporary health. As opposed to like bone hearts or something like that. But... We're going to take a risk here. And that risk definitely didn't pay off. So we lost two hearts there. We only got like a few to go. But with the bone hearts, they'd be empty. Unless I, like, carefully not get hit and heal up from that. Yeah. First, is these black hearts. We're getting a buffer. That kind of builds up on, like, past the whole... Uh, thank you, Infamy. Again. Thank you, kind soul. For your generous deeds at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <coughs> My throat. <coughs> oh, thank you, Anthony. That's like the third time it saved me. Faith humanity has once again been restored. Thanks to that one little act. We got for me, little firebug. All right, this guy. I think you get dropped as like a quarter. That's going to be worth it or, or not worth it. The only items that you get dropped really is a quarter and steam cell or a bunch of money. In either case, you just suck. Yeah. Well, I tell you. Unless we find a Perth row randomly, which can happen. Almost surely can. I want to go over there. 
What you got a crawl space? Are they are you still broken right now? Where you tell me there's something there, but there isn't. Well, I'll go investigate it. I'll be damned. I don't know about that. I guess the thoughts counts, man. Used to be where it's like that thing would like fly around and be like, hey, hey, there's something over here. Hey, listen, listen. Like for like random pods or whatever, and you go over there and it's like nothing. It's like, haha, just kidding. And it kept doing that. I kept th thinking like I was gonna have hope, and it's like pre repentance thing too and it was like get that and hope hey i'm gonna get a crawl space here hey look at that and it's just the same darn thing i'm like this thing is broken the only thing it's good for is secret rooms now it's like hey look at that i can uh i can find crawl spaces and they fixed it Where's it, boy? Jimmy down in the rail? I don't want that either. Got it. <laughs> so many trinkets. Not good enough. All right. This has got to be the boss up here somewhere. All right. Yep. I don't know how my help. Thank you, Infamy, again. That's like the fourth time you saved me. Bless your heart. Must be some magic. And that Sir Top and Hat. No, that's Sir Top and Hat. That's a character from. Oh my God! Well, you saved me there, and then somehow it didn't save me. You saved me again. What the hell is going on here? You saved me again. All right. I don't know what. Oh my God! You gotta go. Don't let me throw this run. Ah, no. All right, I'm almost dead at this point. Get back, foul beast. No! Here I was just being old cocky earlier. I'm like, oh, we'll be fine. All right, that helped me a little bit. I think I'm a full heart right now. Should have taken those devil deals. All right. Well, that was a close one. I think we're like a full heart to a heart and a half right now. Full heart, yeah. That. All right. That helps a lot. Thank you. Well, not a lot, but it's enough. Let's see. That's not bad. Okay. We're not really out of the woods yet, but this helps. This is an improvement. Now, if Guppy's tail can give me, like, more of these chests like it's supposed to... We get more items. Instead, it's giving me junk, which is pretty funny. That it's not giving me those chests that I need. Oh! Giving me keys, too. All right. Thank you, Infamy. Man, you've just been just stellar tonight. Thank you. I appreciate your support, your honest kindness, the bottom of your heart. Thank you so much for what you do for me. Even though I hate you at times, I like you at times too. All right, I need a light. 
All right, yep, 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 yep. Like, the fires help. Those fires right there. Oh, finally. Dangle. Dirty mind. Filthy friends. Fires help, but like, oh my goodness. Speed. Oh, I tanked my speed because of that pickup. Yeah. Anything can happen if you put yourself in the imagination shoes and. Thank you, Infamy, again. I don't know what grace I've been given by thee. Um, thank you for giving thy grace to thy me. Uh, I don't know. I do appreciate it. Oh, my chest. Another key for a chest you can't have. And a dead end. Okay. This guy should not be that bad. Let's play keep away here. Yeah. So slow. Like if we get like an enemy that just rushes a, us down like that. Uh. Oh, hello. Ooh, magic mush. All right, that. And we got fun guy too. Oh, we got fun guy. Or no, we don't have fun guy. It's no, we do have. Wait a minute. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe we do. Well, I don't think we do. Maybe we have Stompy. I think it's the fun guy transformation. Cause I'm seeing another mushroom, and then it's like, okay, kind of skim it here. I think. No, we only have two. Okay, so maybe something else we got. Stompy, probably. It's the size increase. I, uh, we're actually pretty fine right here now. What was I worried about? What am I doing? Come on. All right. No, anything can happen here. You could pick up like a D infinity and script the run on purpose. And the keys. Like, keys are generous and stuff. But. Some chests would be nice to go along with them. Especially the whole guppy tail thing, you know? <laughs> We had a couple of uh, couple of close calls in this run, that's for sure. Mask of Infamy, I think, honestly, if I didn't have Mask of Infamy, I probably would have died. I'm being very sincere. Like, it's blocked so many shots, especially in the Isaac fight, like... Continuum is pretty good. If I didn't have it, it just... I probably would have died. Like, held on nearly to the skin of my teeth. Oh, absolutely not. We're not taking that. <laughs> I learned my lesson a number of times picking up that thing without black candle and being like, oh, wow, wow, I keep teleporting when I'm firing. Haha. <laughs> if I was a loss or if I had black candle or some willy nilly niche thing going on, like, yeah, I definitely would take that for funsies. Anyways, we won. That was a that, that was an interesting run. I'll admit, like, nearly died a few times and stuff, and uh, pulled through. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.